Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. The way we do that is to know our industry, know our career track, know the opportunities, know how far we can go, know how long it typically takes, and know what we need to do to get there. What I often say in business planning is let's talk about where you'd like to be in five years and let's plan backwards. Let's figure out what you're going to do with that. I really want you to see what life is like. I really want you to understand what your life could be like. In order to have your life be what it could be like, you have to be willing to do things that might be different than what you're expecting. I always am interested in how executives think that the way that they talk about their business is the way that consumers want to hear about their business. I have found that profoundly untrue. In marketing, we have certain language we must use, but often people who talk about their business don't use the right words that they naturally speak to share about their business. We have to have people excited about their own businesses is sort of true. Men of a certain age often end up doing something else than the business they set out to do. When we reach a certain age, we don't have a much chance of getting into jobs today. Part of the reason is that we've got 20 to 30 year old age people as recruiters. Their HR director says, go find this for me. So they go out and they do an internet search and they try to find someone who can do that job. But that recruiter has absolutely no experience in that industry. So all the recruiter is thinking is, how does this person make me feel in talking to them on the phone? And that often is whether or not someone gets another opportunity to interview with the HR director or the actual department manager over that job. It's a fool's game. What we need more of is a lot more, despite being a time of COVID, social networks of different types of careers. We do have them. They do exist, but a lot of people don't find them until it's way too late in their career. And too many people can be in that group who've already had years and years of networking with each other. Now, everybody has a chance to go become something new, and everybody has a chance to be more than they think. But if your career is topping out, if you're not finding it fun, if you're not finding what you can do, then it's important that you meet somebody like me who can give you some guidance to move yourself out. Most of the time, the information I provide you is 100% accurate. I can read the ridiculous boys to their knees and almost make them cry. When I start talking about people's parents or birth family of origin, when I've never met them before, they get the message. When I told a woman the other day trying to play with me with her player boyfriend about her daughter's uh, poop problem, she sort of almost lost it on me. You see, Jesus Christ might not be in you, and he might on occasion, because of my mouth, not be in me. But here's something I knew about Jesus. He rebuked his people. He rebukes you. He rebukes me. He does that with his magnificent dark side angels who say, challenge yourself, be more like me. And that's the truth. So while I might be pagan, I'm not stupid about who that man was in the ancient aspect, aspect of anthropology, in our concepts of society, and what the marketing program he put in place a millennium ago has done for our nation, done for its creation, and done for a lot of people who are literally interested in, well, the evangelism of him. You see, it's not just Jesus we're talking about when we're trying to promote Christianity. What we're really talking about is Mother, Father, God, who made Jesus, who made you, who made you, who made me. And openly, a powerful God knows precisely what he makes and when he allows it to be released in the world. And in a time of COVID, we have to be really careful about what we say with our mouths to other people. Because Jesus is always listening. His angels are always around us. And Mother and Father God have a power that you can't possibly find on earth. When I'm talking about these things, people in the Christendom get upset. They think that my approach is not right. I don't think so. And I can bet that they're off color in what they're doing. If you've already made a marvelous living as a pastor or as a businessman, and you've got millions in the bank, super. Then you provided well for your wife, you provided well for yourself, you provided well probably for some sort of legacy for your children, which is appropriate, and God expects you to do that. But you're also probably mighty, mightily responsible for all the people that might actually work for you, or your Oprah network, or whatever the fuck it is that you do. And the truth is we have responsibilities in this world. We are responsible for our conduct, we are responsible for our mouths, 
We're responsible for what we do in front of people and behind their backs. And when you're playing behind someone's back in the shadows, trying to ruin them, trying to interfere with them, you're going to have to start asking yourself, why? What is it that went wrong as a part of your responsibility to that relationship that allows you to even fucking do that? Because most people, when they're upset like that, move on. But when it's a life legacy relationship, when it's a love liaison God expected of you, you've screwed yourself before the God in heaven. And it's what you do that going forward, they cannot get you out of hell. You see, Jesus is pretty important in the world today. Mother and Father God are barely even referenced today. But that would sort of piss somebody off who's got power, wouldn't it? So what I'm saying is don't piss on God. Don't tell God that you didn't see that that man was planned for you. Don't tell Mother God that you didn't see that that girl was right for you. Don't try to play that way. You cannot outthink God. You cannot be smarter than the Lord. And what I've had proven to me over the length of time that I've been pagan and practicing my faith the way that I do is Mother and Father God knows where every human being is in their life, in their soul, and on the planet. It's sort of like that movie X-Men where the professor goes into a space and he can find all the mutants. God is totally like that. He knows precisely where you are, precisely what you're doing, precisely how you're feeling, and precisely why you're not living the life he planned for you.